Okay, here we have a hot glue gun. We will hot glue uh, these two rope pieces together and see how well it holds. We put on our... First I'd like to try to smash it flat. Put on some hot glue and press it down a little bit and then we'll let it cool and go out and see how well it holds. Okay, here we have the two pieces of rope. I've tied the ends together to make two loops and we're going to hang it on our test area right here and uh, we've got some weights here we got a, a five pound an eight pound a ten pound twelve pound fifteen pound and a twenty pound weight we're going to uh, take the five pound weight and hang it on this loop here okay go ahead and get close here and it looks like that's holding okay. So let's, uh, that's good. Let's go get the eight pound weight. Now my experience has been that this may or may not hold. It depends on how good I did the glue joint. So we'll put that on there. And it looks like it's holding. Oops, well, okay, it eventually broke. Uh, so the hot glue joints hold about eight pounds. All right, we're back. I might mention this is a playhouse that we built for the grandkids. It has a nice little thingy here to hang stuff on, and that's the only reason we're using it. Um, we, to the side here, you can see there's a 33-foot web that we made, and um, we do not use hot glue on the joints. We use a different kind of glue that is similar to the glue you can buy in stores uh, under the brand name of Goop, G-O-O-P. Uh, I, I buy an industrial version of that that is uh, UV resistant. You can see each one of the joints here is uh, glued together. And I've got a, uh, I've got two pieces of rope that I glued together with that same glue here. And we're going to hang that here, and we'll see how well that holds. Um, we'll first try with our five pound weight. And you can see that's doing fine. We'll go up to our eight pound weight. And some stress there, but that's doing fine. That's where the hot glue broke. We'll go up to the 10 pounds. And we're getting some good stress there, but it's still holding just fine. So we'll go on up to a heavier weight. Here we got our 12 pound weight. And that's doing fine. We're going up to our last barbell weight, which is 15 pounds. And we'll hang that on there. And wow, amazingly that's holding just fine. You can see the glue joint there is holding fine. So now we'll move on up to the 20 pound weight. I've done this before, and usually the 20 pound weight holds just fine. Here, give me a second, you wanna? All right, we're back. Um, I've taken this weight and tied, a, tied it onto our test rope here. And I'm gonna put the full weight of the 20 pounds there. You got it in focus? Yes. Okay. That's the full weight of the 20 pounds. And it's holding fine. So what we do now is uh, I take this five pound weight and I place it on top of here. And my experience is that this may or may not hold. Let's, uh, we wanna get a close up here. So you just have to trust me that I'm putting this weight on here. Uh, you got it in focus? Just a sec. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Does that help? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Here goes. I'm putting the 
five pounds on it and it is still holding okay darn now I'll go to the eight pounds okay are you ready you got it in focus not sure. okay there it goes Okay, I think it's going to break. Probably wasn't in focus when it broke. So, in conclusion, um, the, uh, the official spiderweb glue held 25 pounds and broke at 28. Um, and the hot glue joint broke at, I forget, it was at either 8 or 10 pounds. 8. 8? Okay. But, and, and to be honest, not every one of these glue joints is going to be a 25 pound glue joint, but I guarantee they're at least a 15 pound glue joint. And over time, uh, what makes the enemy of the, of the web is the sun. It's, it's not the rain or the cold. Uh, water does not hurt the webs at all. Um, it's the sun. The sun. The UV rays of the sun break down the glue and makes it brittle over time. But this is a UV resistant glue and it should last at least five years. That's it. Thank you.